of these sugar cookies. I like to call them sugar balls. So we're just going to put our balls right in this good old casserole dish. Get them out there. The balls never want to come out. And don't worry about them being perfect. This is going to be a good stress reliever when you're done. Woo, woo, woo. Balls are slippery. So we're putting our sugar balls in here. Great balls of sugar. So this is the easiest way you could buy the roll, but why do the roll? Just do it this way. Now let's get in there, push them in, and relieve some stress. It's a good time to bring the kids Get all that extra, extra energy out of them. Let them go ahead and bang their little lives away. Get them all in here. Get it all pressed in. This is the easy, one of the easiest desserts I love to make. And I get to relieve all my stress doing it. And I keep the kids busy. All right. So that's in there. Like I said, two packages of the sugar balls. Now we're just going to go ahead and sprinkle. Pick any color you want. Make it seasonal. You can make them Easter-y, Christmas-y, 4th of July-y, Valentine's Day. This is just pinky. So we're going to put our sprinkles in there. Put them all in there. Get them in there because you'll see as this cooks, pretty colors. And we're going to put this in the oven, according to the package, 350 for 13 to 17 minutes, depending on how your oven cooks. So we'll put these to the side. And then we're going to grab three cups of powdered sugar. We're going to add one stick of melted butter. Pour that in there. I like to do it this way. That powdered butter goes, I mean, the powdered sugar goes everywhere and it's a big old mess. And then a tablespoon of almond extract. And like my mom said, oh, it's not open. Oh, oh, the kids got me this time. Like my mom said, never use more utensils than you need to. So we're gonna measure our one tablespoon. It's a little more than one in there. That almond extract just adds that extra pop of flavor. We're going to mix that in. You could go ahead and use something else, but when I use all the other instruments to mix this in, it sticks in the wires. See, it's going to get all over the place anyways. But you want to mix this in because this is going to be that goody, goody goodness to put on your balls when you're done. Get that all mixed in. So this is your almond extract frosting. Get that all mixed in there. I don't know why, but this dessert requires your muscles. You give up your time. It's really easy to make, but it sure requires a good mixing and a good beating. So we'll get that all mixed up. It's all in there. So you want to make sure after you put your cookies in the oven, that you let them sit and cool off. So we're gonna go put these in the oven for about 13 to 17 minutes at 350 and we'll be back to ice them. So this is sat for about 30 minutes to cool off. This was our sugar balls that we turned into one big cookie. We put the sprinkles and it looks and smells delicious. Um, I did lie on the time. It's double the pack, so it's about 30, 45 minutes versus the 13 to 17. And then we got this yummy frosting that we made. We're going to go ahead and spread this all over our cake, cookie cake. So I live in the desert, and <laughs> my frosting today is not my friend. So we are going to work through this. I use this same recipe every time, but it's about 120 outside today, and for whatever reason, it's sitting differently. But hey, it still tastes good. We just gotta put a little extra work. This whole cookie's been work. We had to mash salt the balls, put our arm into the frosting. 
I mean, you could just make this way easier, especially if it's hot in the summertime and get an already made frosting, but it won't have that almond taste. The almond taste to me is what makes it. So get that all spread out. Usually I would never use my hands in frosting, but today I think it requires it. Get those little fingerprints out of there. It's like Play-Doh like Play today. Hey, just got to roll with it sometimes. The kids will never know. They'll get it. It'll taste good. And this is actually a good time to call your kids in. Let them do all this hard work for you. And then we use the pink sprinkles. So the frosting's eating that right up. So, hey, you know what? Sometimes when you cook, there's going to be problems. Just got to figure it out and keep going with it. I'm sure our grandmas went through the same thing before they had all these cool little utensils and all this other stuff. Good thing we wash our hands before we cook. So it's going in there. At least it's not like chocolate. Once chocolate's done and it seizes up, it's no longer a go. This just required a little TLC, a little real hand in it. At the end though, it's going to taste so delicious. <laughs> and at least I can tell my kids I put a little extra love into it this time. So kind of spread that out. Like I said, with it being so hot, this is what happened to our frosting. But, you know, I made the same frosting last week and it didn't even do this. We'll just cover it up with a whole bunch of sprinkles. So when I make this, my kids love to make a little joke about the sprinkles. They're always like, Mom, sprinkles! So this is usually when I call my kids in to do it. So right now they'd be putting it on and be like, sprinkles! With their little clap. We're going to put extra. I mean, we got to make it sparkly and pretty if it. And like I said, you can do this seasonal. You could add food dye to your icing. You can change it up. We're going to put some real sprinkles, some pretty sprinkles. Look at that. Look, anything that sparkles is pretty. So, we're going to go ahead and cut into this. Remember, this is a big cookie, so it's going to be a little bit different than if you made a cake. And it's always that first, that first piece. Oh, it's ready, it's coming. It's coming. And make sure you grease down your pan, I did prior to putting this in there. There we go. And I don't even think we need a fork for this. Minus the icing. When your icing comes out right, it'll be so pretty, so delicious, and so yummy. Let's go ahead. Let's try it. It's good. It's really good. It may look a little clumpy, but that is one delicious big cookie. I'm going to go ahead for a second bite. That's yummy. You can taste the cookie, the sprinkles, that almond frosting. It makes it delicious. Mmm, yummy.